They are striking images from 50 years ago. Santa Rosa rocked by two moderate quakes, 5.6 and 5.7. They hit in quick succession, leaving damage throughout the city. Since then, there have been no major quakes here, but advances in technology have given us a better understanding of our tectonic history. In 2018, a new mapping technique brought the Rogers Creek Fault into sharper relief. Called LIDAR, it used lasers to penetrate vegetation, producing a dramatic new picture of the fault in all its complexity. I'm essentially standing on the Rogers Creek Fault where it courses off Taylor Mountain, traveling in a northwest direction right through the city of Santa Rosa. It's just to the east of the fairgrounds, just to the east of downtown, very near Memorial Hospital. Now one of the key findings of LIDAR technology is the ability to trace past fault zones looking down through vegetation in places like the city of Santa Rosa. And what they've determined here in Santa Rosa is the fault is much more extensive, much wider and much more complex than previously known. LiDAR technology allowed scientists to see down through trees and to detect very subtle slopes, revealing much more about how the Rogers Creek Fault behaves in the North Bay's biggest city. USGS geologist Suzanne Hecker led the study. When it reaches the ground surface, there's some complexity, um, and it's broader than we had thought, which is not unusual. A lot of faults at the surface are, are rather complex. The zone or the breadth um, where there could be some disruption during a big earthquake um, is a little bit wider in places than we thought. So there's implications for houses and you know other buildings that might be built um, near or you know on the fault. Among the findings, the Rogers Creek is not a single ground break, but a complex system. In fact, over perhaps a third of a mile in Santa Rosa, three distinct traces cross Sonoma Avenue between the French American Charter School and Farmers Lane. Here you can see a slight rise as the main fault crosses under the road. Others are more subtle. It really is a game changer for us. Mark DeLauncher with the California Geological Survey says LIDAR has changed everything. Just within the last, you know, five years, uh, as it's gotten cheaper and more widespread in terms of, of availability, you're getting more and more geologists, biologists, everybody else involved using this and going, wow, we can, we can do things we couldn't do before. Across the North Bay, LIDAR has helped to reveal a complex tapestry, the Rogers Creek, much wider, longer, and more complex as it passes east of Rohnert Park, through Santa Rosa, through Larkfield, and extends all the way to the east of downtown Healdsburg. In Santa Rosa in particular, LIDAR has revealed a subtle complexity that will be used to help guide land use. Being able to, to map where it is at the surface um, has implications, again, for anything that might be built on the fault um, because in a large earthquake there is going to be displacement at the surface so um, you know anything built across the fault is going to get impacted by that displacement. Critically only large quakes much larger than those of 1969 cause breaks that reach the surface and leave these kinds of traces and that means much larger quakes as recently as the 18th century have struck the North Bay repeatedly in the past. In part two, we'll look at what these new findings and possible links to the Hayward Fault to the south tell us about our seismic future here in the North Bay. Carl Van Amberg for News of the North Bay.